Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbyte. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Facing the music, stateside George Zimmerman is due to appear in court today after being charged with second-degree murder for the fatal shooting of teenager Trayvon Martin. The Florida Neighborhood Watch volunteer arrived at jail last night after turning himself in. Lawyers for 17-year-old Trayvon's family say he was shot in cold blood, but Zimmerman's lawyer claimed self-defense and says the 28-year-old will not plead guilty. Trayvon's parents spoke after the decision to charge Zimmerman. We simply want we wanted an arrest. We wanted nothing more, nothing less. We just wanted an arrest. And we got it. And I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. A fragile peace, the deadline for a ceasefire in Syria has passed. A six-point peace plan brokered by UN and Arab League envoy Kofi Annan was scheduled to come into effect at 4 a.m. Irish time. Western countries have voiced their doubts about the intentions of the Syrian government, but so far there have been no reports of violence. A cleanup operation is underway in Indonesia following yesterday's double earthquake. Some residents in Aceh, which was worst affected by the tsunami in 2004, chose to stay in tents and shelter centres overnight after an 8.6 magnitude earthquake rocked the northern province yesterday. Five people died from heart attacks in Aceh and several others were injured as they tried to flee to high ground. Meanwhile, Mexico has been shaking too. A 6.4 magnitude earthquake shook Mexico City last night just two weeks after a 7.4 magnitude quake damaged hundreds of homes in southern Mexico. Television pictures show an office moving during the tremors, as well as office workers evacuating buildings following the quake. Has Apple been bad? The technology giant is being sued by the US Department of Justice over the pricing of e-books. The US is accusing Apple and major book publishers of a conspiracy to raise the price of e-books they sell by two to five dollars. The US Attorney General says the conspiracy has cost American consumers more than 100 million dollars. The department has reached a settlement with three of the nation's largest book publishers and will continue to litigate against Apple and two additional leaders publishers for conspiring to increase the prices that consumers pay for e-books. And now some tiger cubs to cheer up your Thursday. Jaguar Zoo in southern Mexico has revealed their three new members, a litter of half Benegal, half Siberian tiger cubs born on April the 3rd. The zoo mated their 12-year-old Siberian male tiger named Yagul with an 8-year-old female Bengal tiger Yaki to produce the unique litter of three. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, when you've no oars or an engine, try find an excavator to row your boat. At number four, one little grouch doesn't want to be mistaken for anyone but himself. Hey, Bob Marley. No, my name is not Bob Marley. My name is Teddy. Get out. At number three, one of the many downsides of floods, you can't see the potholes. At number two, a parrot tries it on with his bird repeatedly. And number one today, one class's story time turns into pandemonium. Oh, is he coming? Oh, oh. Well, there he is. Look, here's a panda. Hello, hello, panda. Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, all of today's tech news, and Paul will be here with all of the sports. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E.